Order of Magnitude, Wikipedia Article Audio An order of magnitude is an approximate measure of the size of a number, equal to the logarithm rounded to a whole number. For example, the order of magnitude of 1500 is 3, because 1500 equals 1.5A103. Definition Uses Calculating the order of magnitude Order of magnitude estimate Order of magnitude difference Non-decimal orders of magnitude Extremely large numbers Differences in order of magnitude can be measured on a base 10 logarithmic scale in a euro e decades a euro. Examples of numbers of different magnitudes can be found at orders of magnitude. Generally, the order of magnitude of a number is the smallest power of 10 required to represent that number. To work out the order of magnitude of a number, n, the number is first expressed in the following form. Where, 10, 10, a per thousand, a. Then, b, represents the order of magnitude of the number. The order of magnitude can be any integer. The table below enumerates the order of magnitude of some numbers in light of this definition. The geometric mean of, 10, b, and, 10, b, plus, 1, is, 10, a, 10, b, backslash times 10, meaning that a value of exactly, 10, b, of 6.602, its order of magnitude is 6. When truncating, a number of this order of magnitude is between 10.6 and 10.7. In a similar example, with the phrase he had a seven-figure income, the order of magnitude is the number of figures minus 1, so it is very easily determined without a calculator to 6. An order of magnitude is an approximate position on a logarithmic scale. An order of magnitude estimate of a variable, whose precise value is unknown, is an estimate rounded to the nearest power of 10. For example, an order of magnitude estimate for a variable between about 3 billion and 30 billion is 10 billion. To round a number to its nearest order of magnitude, one rounds its logarithm to the nearest integer. Thus 7006400000000000000000 a trademark 4000000, which has a logarithm of 6.602, has 7 as its nearest order of magnitude because nearest implies rounding rather than truncation. For a number written in scientific notation, this logarithmic rounding scale requires rounding up to the next power of 10 when the multiplier is greater than the square root of 10. For example, the nearest order of magnitude for 7008170000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
and thus the brightest level being five orders of magnitude brighter than the weakest indicates that it is five or a factor of 100 times brighter. The different decimal numeral systems of the world use a larger base to better envision the size of the number and have created names for the powers of this larger base. The table shows what number the order of magnitude aim at for base 10 and for base 7 0 0 6 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 a trademark 1 0 0 0 0 0 0. It can be seen that the order of magnitude is included in the number name in this example because by means 2 and tri means 3, and the suffix ilion tells that the base is 7006100000000000000000 a trademark 1000000. But the number names billion, trillion themselves are not names of the orders of magnitudes, they are names of magnitudes that is the numbers 7012100000000000000000000 a trademark 1000000000000 etc. SI units in the table at right are used together with SI prefixes, which were devised with mainly base 1000 magnitudes in mind. The IEC standard prefixes with base 1024 were invented for use in electronic technology. The ancient apparent magnitudes for the brightness of stars uses the base, 100, 5, A per thousand, 2.512, backslash approximate 2.512, and is reversed. The modernized version has however turned into a logarithmic scale with non-integer values. For extremely large numbers, a generalized order of magnitude can be based on their double logarithm or super logarithm. Rounding these downward to an integer gives categories between very round numbers, rounding them to the nearest integer and applying the inverse function gives the nearest round number. The double logarithm yields the categories. The super logarithm yields the categories. The midpoints which determine which round number is nearer are in the first case. And, depending on the interpolation method, in the second case. For extremely small numbers neither method is suitable directly but the generalized order of magnitude of the reciprocal can be considered. Similar to the logarithmic scale one can have a double logarithmic scale and super logarithmic scale. The intervals above all have the same length on them, with the midpoints actually midway. More generally, a point midway between two points corresponds to the generalized f mean with f the corresponding function log log x or slog x. In the case of log log x, this mean of two numbers does not depend on the base of the logarithm, just like in the case of log x, but unlike in the case of log 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 x.